So this uh, demonstration is about flows and how to use the flows in facts. In this simple model, you have one default flow at the moment. You have two different variants that has been created here. However, if we want to uh, add variant specific flows now, if we add a parallel machine in operation two, we can call these two machines operation two one and operation two two. We'll set this one to 60 seconds, processing time constant. And then we will delete this, delete that setting in order to connect that variant A passes this way and variant B passes this way, we will use two more flows. So we'll add flows by pressing this button. You have to be on this mode, and then add the flow, we'll add another flow. Name this flow for flow variant A and then flow variant B and you add one variant A to flow variant A and variant B to flow variant B. In order to activate the flows, if you want to connect flow for variant A now, you use this as current flow and now it will display all the connections that has been done with this flow and we haven't done a connection yet so that's not strange so we connect that one to this operation okay then we will activate flow variant b and want variant b to enter operation 22 connect it to that operation so now we connect and now we select default flow again. As you can see here, if you mark it on the flows, you can see that we have the default flow. So these are valid for all products that are produced. All the products has been added on the default flow will be able to use these connections. So variant A and variant B will use these arrows. However, here only variant A will leave operation 2.1. You could either use flow A to connect that arrow, but you can also use the default flow since variant A is there anyway, so it doesn't matter. However, at buffer one, you need to add these individual uh, flows or otherwise the parts will uh, go randomly to these operations or cyclic behavior. We will save this model And we'll start an animation. Now you can see we have variant A now in the beginning of the model. All variant A will go through operation 2.1 in this case. After 50 parts being produced, then variant B will be started to be produced in operation 2.2. Now the first variant B comes in, although as you can see here, it has to wait for variant A to pass to this operation. This will be explained in the store lesson, store demonstration. Click on and run the simulation again. You can see now that variant B will enter operation 2.2 and operation 2.1 will eventually be empty. So, this is how they work with flows.